Hi, hi guys, Mayo here, um, documentary photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria, and today's Friday, and another edition of the Feedback Friday, where I attempt to answer five questions from five upcoming documentary photographers. This is going to be an exciting one. Watch to the end. Okay, the first question is, what kind of equipment should I get as I'm starting out as a photographer? Um, okay, I, I would attempt to answer that. Um, I actually believe that you should, first of all, know what kind of photography you want to get into before you get the equipment. That I mean by if you're interested in becoming a, doc a documentary photographer or you're interested in becoming a wedding photographer, the, the equipment you buy for each might not be the same thing. Let me explain. If you're a wedding photographer, there are actually some lenses you would need to actually make your craft stand out. And those lenses might not actually work out if you are a documentary photographer. Let's use, for example, the 100mm macro lens. Those act, um, beautiful, um, detailed rings, detailed clothes and all of that you see with wedding photographers, it can only be done mostly with the 100mm macro. To a documentary photographer, I really need that. I'm not sure. So I would say that before you go out to get equipment, decide which genre of photography you want to engage in. Because when you know where you're going, you actually now, the next thing you do is to look for equipment that will help you achieve your goals. So, documentary photographer first before you find out which equipment can help you attain and achieve those goals. That's what I think it is. All right. Okay, this one says, um, uh, it says, how do I stand out in a sea of photographers? Ah, is it really sea? <laughs> is it a sea of photographers? Okay, I know what you mean. It's, uh, we, it's very saturated, I understand. How do you stand out? I actually believe that you have to find your voice so that people don't mistake you for some other person. In that, I mean, you have to find what stands you out as a photographer, your voice, and actually would be your style of photographing. Because when everybody's actually doing the same thing, it is only the people that are actually doing the best thing they can do that stands out. For example, look at pages of photographers you like. I would say, like if someone I like so much, Augusto, though, look at his page, you realize that he does one kind of stuff that he knows how to do. Whether his name is on the picture, his name is on the picture, you know his image anywhere. Same goes with other great photographers you look up to. So the point is, if you want to stand out in the sea of all of these guys, you need to find your strength, develop it, shoot at it, become a master at your strength, and people will start noticing you for what you do and your style of photography. And that's the only way you stand out. This one said, Mayo, how do I get to shoot like you? No way. It just goes back to me, the answer I gave for the question number two. You don't need to photograph like I do. You don't need to sh photograph like Augusto though, because when you photograph like somebody else, you get lost in it. You, don't, you can't find your voice doing someone, someone that person's job. You can never be like somebody else. So you have to find your voice. You have to find your strength. You have to develop it. Do not want to shoot like me. Like I always say when I do work with Mo, I say it's work with Mo is not about you photographing like Mo. Work with Mo is about you walking the path with Mo actually finding yourself in the process so don't ever try to shoot like somebody not even me please but find ways of better ways of shooting it develop it shoot it over time because consistency is the key here shoot it over time before you know it a lot of people will actually be saying i want to shoot like you too so don't shoot like me find yourself and shoot like yourself that's the best way to do it all right this one says on my instagram page do i really need to um, post all the works that I do or should I post um, the ones I select? I think um, your Instagram page is like a marketing platform so you want to put out your best work out there. You don't want somebody to come to your page and see images that are not strong enough, they are not good enough, they are not um, images that people can actually connect with. So I actually believe that if you're you want to put out works on your Instagram page it has to be the strongest of your images. So when you go for a shoot, you have to select the best of it, then go through the best of the very best of it. 
that's the one that should come on your Instagram page. And also, let me use this opportunity to tell you, if, if you're that, those kind of people that like, today you post um, wedding photos, tomorrow you post um, burial photos, <laughs> I don't know, birthday photos, the next day you put, post portraits, it actually does not do you any good. You really need to find um, your best pictures in your genre of photography and post. Let people know your page and know you for one thing. That's the best way. It doesn't really mean that you can't shoot any, any other stuff. You can shoot any other stuff, but then you have to make sure that the things you shoot and the things you share are all in the same place. What I mean is that you can't go to um, where they sell food and go and see meat. You can't go to the place where they sell children's clothes and you'll see a um, pomo there. You cannot find pomo in that kind of place. So don't come and post wedding pictures today and post uh, birthday pictures tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. Let, we, let us find you uniformity in whatever you do and that's the best way to actually show off your Instagram feed as a marketing tool, okay? Hope that makes sense. The last but not the least, uh, this is, okay. This one says, how can I be a part of work with more? <laughs> That should be a bonus question. That shouldn't be a question. That's it's like a bonus question. Um, what would more happens? I think um, it has happened twice in Lagos. The next edition should be in Abe Kuta Ogun State. So just get ready for the, when the information is out. I'll put it out there. You get to know whether if you're in Ogun State or somewhere around there, you could be a part of the next edition of Work with More. But that's not a question. <laughs> if I can't count that question, that should be a bonus question. Let me go and find a real question. Okay, this one says, um, should I allow my friends in my circle to critique my work or should I give my work to professionals to help me critique it? Okay, if your circle of friends are of your same level in whatever you're doing, do you think they're in the best position to actually critique your work? I'm not sure. So you need people who are better than you are who have broader knowledge of what you're doing and who are experts in the field of photography you're into. You need to show them your work. You, you can't just share your work with um, your friends and feel that they will actually tell you the things that are wrong. They might be emotional about it. They, you might actually think they're trying to bring you down if they say it's not good enough. You might actually think you're too good when they say your picture is great when it is just there. So you wouldn't want that. The other day, I think um, Bernard, Carlo, Bernard, yeah, Bernard did a critique session. These are people you look up to if you're a street photographer. You look up to professionals who come up with them critique session. Um, the, other, um, the other day at um, a photography meeting, Aham and um, August Tudor talked about people bringing their works and them who look at it and critique it, yes hook up to them, call them, DM them, anything you can do to get their attention so that they get to critique your work. Sometimes you have to pay for it. Yes, it is a good investment. You have to have these professionals look at your work, tell you what's wrong with it and share better ways of you creating this work in the way it should be done in the industry. So yes, critique is good, but don't allow it to be done by your friends. Get professionals to do their job. All right. So guys, I'm excited. That's the end of Feedback Friday today. I hope you've learned one or two things from all the questions that people asked. If you want to be a part of this, all you just need to do is to get into my DM, send, ask your question, okay? And next week, Friday, I'll be here to answer all the questions. Be good, go out there, shoot more. That's the only way you can get better. There's no other way to get better. Go out, shoot pictures, all right? May you're here, and bye.